Bailey Judge has heard how two children who were put on a local council's at-risk register were killed by their mother. Sharon Dolson, who had earlier threatened to kill them, was sent to a mental hospital indefinitely. Six-year-old Jason Harry and five-year-old Natalia were both killed by their mother at home in North London in August 1992. Haringey Council was aware that Sharon Dalton was mentally ill and had threatened to kill her children at least once before. Neighbours also gave warnings after hearing screams from the house. Yet the council made no formal order to have the children put into care. All that we know is that social services only have the most limited information about it. But one of the things that we are working on and we're collaborating with the police is this pilot scheme whereby we make sure that information that we have is fed into the police's national computer. An inquiry has now made some recommendations, including more resources and better staff communications. Town hall unions are threatening Southwark Council with a major dispute if they continue to make staff redundant after taking a controversial personality test. Nineteen employees of the South London Council lost their jobs after doing badly in a series of exams, including a personality test in which they were asked hundreds of apparently strange questions such as whether they preferred a bath to a shower or if they'd like to see a bullfight. It's a frivolous way to treat people's jobs. It is a frivolous basis on which to sack people and that is what has been done. Ten workers have already accepted voluntary redundancy. The council denies it set the tests as a way of shedding jobs. That's it. You can hear more news on Greater London Radio and other BBC local radio stations throughout the South East throughout this evening. Now the weather forecast with Michael Fish. Good evening to you. Yes, time flies, doesn't it? That's me 20 years ago tonight making my first ever appearance on the BBC. And here I am. Very little's changed over these years. A little less hair, a little bit more tummy, a few hurricanes under the belt. But seriously, next Tuesday we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of BBC Weathermen and Women. So join us for a special programme at half past eight on BBC One, that's on the 11th. Well, there's not much to celebrate as far as the weather in this country is concerned. We have another area of low pressure moving in from the southwest, and that means wind and rain. The rain's already on the way. During the course of the night, that's going to be moving up across many parts of England and Wales, turning to snow in northern areas, more particularly, I think, over the hills. But in uh, Scotland, some mist and fog patches, and those wintry showers continuing, together with a touch of frost, so some icy patches there on the roads. Now tomorrow we're going to find southern parts, a day of uh, blustery showers, some of them quite heavy and eventually turning wintry. The band of rain, sleet and snow in central parts, working its way slowly but surely northwards during the course of the day. A fair bit of snow probably over the hills, especially North Wales and the Pennines and eventually the southern uplands. The more central and northern areas of Scotland, though, should stay out of trouble, generally speaking, but they'll have a continuation of those uh, wintry showers. Now it is going to be quite a cold day you'll find in most parts of the country. Temperatures in the south actually not far off normal but pretty cold further to north especially in those more northern areas and that's going to be accentuated I think by the fact that it is going to be a very windy day. In fact there'll be gales around many of those uh, coasts and hills. The unsettled theme persists really after tomorrow we're going to keep low pressure on the scene so for Thursday I think many places are going to have another quite cold day There'll be showers around, even some longer spells of rain, sleet and snow. Once again, I think we're going to find a fair bit of snow probably on those uh, hills in the north there. Wintry showers though, around many of the other coastal areas, and as you can see, it is going to be a cold day. And when we carry that forward, even towards the end of the week, although the showers in the more eastern parts may become rather more scattered, so more in the way of sunshine there, perhaps some frost and fog around night and morning, we're going to keep those wintry showers in those more northern and western areas, and some of them could continue to be fairly heavy. Well, that's all from me, but as I said at the beginning, don't forget to join us on BBC One on January the 11th. Good evening to you. The making of a president. If you don't stand up to people with power, they'll walk all over you. Patrick Dempsey in a compelling two-part drama tracing the formative years. You had embarrassed the Kennedy name. Oh my. Anything to say for yourself? Try harder. The man who captured the heart of America. JFK Reckless Youth, starting Thursday and continuing Friday, 9.30 on BBC One. Hey. The 1980s game show Pop Quiz returns for a special Top of the Pops anniversary edition with its host Mike Reed in 50 minutes. First on BBC One, a brand new comedy drama series about a varied and colourful group of people banded together by a sense of adventure and humour in The Territorial Army. <laughs>